Cane, one of Hannibal's greatest victories against Rome in 216 BC. The Roman Republic marches out with a grand army to face Hannibal in the field. And today we are recreating it. So what's up guys and welcome back. I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another Rome 2 battle for you today. And this time we're doing a historical one. We don't, haven't done many Rome 2 historical battles. But I've got a few lined up and this is the first of many. So obviously you've got to have Cane uh, if you're doing Rome 2. Because well it's the ultimate showdown isn't it? Carthage versus Rome. So we do have a huge Roman, well three Roman armies here. Facing three Carthaginian armies. We've got a mix of mercenaries, uh, Carthaginians, and their beasts of war here. They've come across to face Rome and bring down their republic. So I hope you guys enjoy the battle. Um, and if you do enjoy and want to see more historical battles, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And a comment to show your support and uh, just to keep these scenario battles being created. Uh, if you guys are enjoying them, I'll carry on creating them. But anyway, it looks like Carthage is going to be making the first move. He's got his mercenary Numidian cavalry over here, which are going to, well, the Javi cavalry, and it looks like they're going to be just be, I don't know, just skirmishing some of these guys here. It looks like they've taken out a couple of equites. Um, yeah, they've taken out about 11 or so. We've got some Velites over here getting ready. So in history, the Romans, I'll just go through quickly what happens in history because I don't think they're going to engage for a little while. In history, the Romans make a massive push for the, for the Carthaginian center and then they get enveloped. And it looks like that's what's going to happen again here. Uh, I don't know if they were purposely, I was not playing this one personally, but I don't know if they were purposely going for a recreation. But uh, yeah, the Romans are going to fall into a, a trap, it would seem. So it looks like the skirmish phase is happening currently. We do have some Berleric Slingers. Uh, focusing down the Velites. Obviously the Velites have not got as great a range, uh, but they are uh, Well, they've got more damage and the, but the Cretan archers here in Baelic Syrinx have got more ammo and they've got a uh, better reload time but Here we go. So it looks like the first lines come forward. We're gonna send sacred ban forward first the Carthaginians. Wow Okay, so that's a bold move. They're sending in the elites first. I mean they've got mercenaries got a lot of squishy mercenaries that they could send in first They've got Libyan infantry as well. While this has all been going on, the Numidians constantly harassing the uh, cavalry over here. So that's very well done by them. I mean, it looks like the Romans have got some pretty good cavalry as well. They've got Socii Equ Equites Extraordinary. They've got Equites. They've got more Equites on this side as well. And this is a big gathering of uh, cavalry here and elephants. Wow, okay. So, this is a concern definitely for Carthage. And they're definitely outmatched here. But... It will be interesting to see what happens. So it looks like the Velites are about to, well, fall back if they've uh, not already broken. Some of them certainly have. But as you can see, the envelopment's nearly done. I mean, they've got some reserves as well. They've got uh, African pikes. They've got more mercenary Iberian swords. They'd definitely be sending them for, uh, further forward as well. Get them further forward. Uh, I mean, they've got more pikes over here. Got General's bodyguard. African war elephants. Lots and lots of stuff. Interesting to see what happens. And here come the Histati. I believe that the uh, Roman players are doing the triple axes uh, formation. So you send in the Histati first, then you send in Principes, and then last but not least the Triarii. And I'm, the line's definitely not right. Okay, there's a Engagement over here first. I'm just gonna go and see this. Uh, okay, so Histati fighting Libyan swords or Libyan infantry. Uh, I imagine the Libyan infantry will win this. But yes, a, f a, a famous saying of sorts is like if the Triarii get sent in, then like not all is lost, but the like I don't know. It's basically there's something about the Triarii. If they get sent in, then it's a pretty hard battle. So that's kind of the case here as well. So if the Triarii get sent in, kind of wouldn't be worried. I and mean, the Triarii are already being sent in. Uh, I mean, they are kind of just defending the flanks. It's not like they're actually in the front line. There are... I think there's mostly uh, Astarte. Then there's a lot of uh, Socii Extraordinary, which are, like, representing the Italian allies. Then there's also lots of Principes. They are making up the second sort of line. There's about 12 or so of them. And then there's also some... Uh, there's some... Uh, Triarii. I think there's about 12. No, there's a, less than that. I think there's about 8 Triarii. 
Uh, it looks a little bit laggy here, which is uh, a bit surprising. It's only a land battle, so I'm a bit surprised. But uh, it does look pretty damn awesome, though. I won't lie. Look at that. Excellent. Let's put it in slow-mo for a bit and just see, look, let's watch that in slow-mo. Go down this long line here, look at the archers, oh gosh, that's awful. The archers there firing into the side of these Hastati, I mean they're definitely going to lose these uh, Sacred Band. I mean even though it's a spear versus sword, this, uh, I mean look at the armor that Hastati have in comparison. It's just a bit of, a bit of armor over their chest, it's not really going to stop anything. Then you've got the Princapes, they're coming in now, you can see they've actually got chain mail looks awesome over here I mean just this whole line here you can just see blobs of like infantry I mean there's big gaps that certainly like the uh, Carthage could take advantage of he's already got his sassy breaking here might need to send some more troops in here looks like the Princapes might need to be sent in oh okay okay so the Romans have had to send stuff to the rear as well because it looks like Libyan, uh, not Libyan, Carthaginian hot plates have been sent in. They are losing actually to Princapes quite decisively. Same over here. It would seem that their flanking force is not doing so well. But the elephants, I think, are going to be committed soon, if not already. Where are, I don't think they have actually been committed. But they are very close to the uh, combat. But we have cavalry in here. We have cavalry in the rear doing damage. This is what happened in history. So the cavalry flanked around the sides and enveloped uh, the army, uh, the Roman army. It was Hannibal's plan. Though there wasn't infantry to stop him, it was just Roman cavalry. All the infantry in uh, history was too interested in pushing forward and claiming the day because the Romans thought if they just push through, then they'll, uh, they'll win. But Hannibal was clever and just slowly retreated his army, like the center of his army. So they drew the Romans in more and more taking on minimal casualties and they uh, slowly envelop this army and I mean you can see an envelopment sort of happening now it's very loose at the moment but it looks like it's about to be tightened and here comes the elephants so the elephants gonna go into Triarii because if so then these Velites might be able to get a good charge off of them but here we go surely oh he's not gonna give the attack order just gonna stand here okay so the Triarii are gonna get the charge on the elephants which is never a good sign Carthage is uh, going to need to move. Oh, what a char uh, What a volley, sorry, by these Velites. They're getting some very good volleys in here. I mean, have they gone mad? Yep, yeah, they have out of control. That is... And yeah, they look at that already. A few of them killed. Like, Velites are extremely good at taking out elephants. Javis are just very good at taking out elephants. Got to get very close, but not bad, not bad at doing it. Look at that. Those elephants just getting destroyed. But do not fear... There is another elephant unit over here. That's kind of a rhyme, I just realized. But um, yeah, so there is more elephants ready. But I mean, that elephant unit just did nothing. It just got evaporated. Yeah, it's down to one elephant already. Um, poor, poor guys. The Roman general over here, he's being very aggressive. Or one of the Roman generals has been very aggressive. Another one going into support. Um, leg he's using Legatuses. Which I'm pretty sure they shouldn't have used. They probably should be using... Uh, General bodyguard, because they are the more republican-looking ones. The Legatus is the more uh, imperial. But it does not matter. It's a small technicality which we can get around. But here we go. So it looks like the general over here is having to be engaged as well. I don't know if that he got caught out or what. The Triarii is being sent in. They're trying to pull out the general now. But they do have a lot of reserves. They've got a lot of Triarii in reserve. Carthage needs more like units around here just to kind of threaten the rear, but he's kind of running out of stuff I mean they are breaking through in the center. They've got lots of blobbing up here for no reason But looking at the balance of power I'd say it's ever so slowly in favor of the Romans currently The Romans being in the yellow and car. Oh, no, sorry uh, It's ever so slightly in favor of the Carthage the Romans being in the red and Carthage in the yellow and blue like outlines around their units but it looks like a uh, well, it looks like the Romans are already kind of falling back to the last stand a bit. They just seem to be pulling out of any attacks here. They're wanting to deal with the cavalry. A charge here from the Roman general. That's bold. I don't know if... I, I'm not quite sure which generals these guys are matched to. So this one might be the Histati general. 
if that's the case, and he's not got much left. I mean, this isn't a bad unit also to charge down. Mercenary Iberian Swords, they're not very well armoured. Definitely an easy target, but there's pikes coming up, you can see on the left here. Getting ready, trying to set up, but the general's going to get out. I mean, he's going to lose a few men, but I don't think that was a bad charge. It wasn't a bad charge, I think they lost about 20 or so men. We can see here they're already falling back. The Hastati's ready. Triaria is already. Uh, well, it's actually looking the wrong way. They're really scared of this rear charge here. But I mean, they, they've got so much stuff looking the wrong way that, uh, like, that way that they're not actually concerned with the main front line. I mean, they've got a few units of Prinkapes over here. But look at this. This Prinkapay unit is desperately trying to get back. But it's pin, pinned between un two units. And here we go, it looks like the Sacred Band setting up, ready to go in these... Look at these Prinkapes, so bloodied. Exhausted. I mean, they're already in combat here, yeah, the cavalry's just not letting up. Which is really good, they're not letting the Romans set up properly. Just send the cavalry and keeps the, it chaotic for them. And then you can just send in what's left of the infantry, even the elephants. I'd start sending them in soon. But we've got Histati returning. They're pretty fresh to be fair actually. 103. They'll hold for a little while. For Rome! We must defend this great city. I mean, Kanae's still got a long way actually from Rome. But this is the battle that after... After they won this in history, they could have uh, marched on Rome, could the Carthaginians. And destroyed what would become one of uh, the world's greatest empires. But no, Hannibal decides to uh, not do that in history. He just seems to dance around Italy for a bit until uh, Scipio gets sent to Africa. And that's where he's uh, defeated at Zama. And look at this, we've got a box formation forming up. The Romans are... I wouldn't say new boxing because uh, they're very low on stuff now and they've not got much left. I think they could actually probably send the elephants in without any fear now because they've got no missiles if you look at this. These units out here are a bit caught out though. This is a bit of the weak spot in the defense. Look, they're trying to pull back those Prinkapes. They actually probably did that quite, quite well. Only a couple of men actually didn't get out. But, I mean, they pulled back far too far. You could actually just get through that gap. That small sacred band unit probably would be best to try and get through that gap. They're forming square, which I this is a, not a bad idea. The Triarii can do it, and they do hold for a long time doing it, but you're now making just gaps in your line. You can just, like, the cavalry can just get through here quite easily and then go for rear charges. So it's, like, it's worth the risk, but at the same time, it's not. Okay, okay, I think I know what they're going to do. They're going to put the Hastati units in between the Triarii, like, in the gaps to try and deny them from uh, getting through, but... They need to do it quickly because they're... I don't know how long Carthage is going to hold out and just standing here. He's just javvying at the moment. I can see. I saw some javvies anyway going into the uh, Triarii lines. But, I mean, look at that. It's a really nasty square. I would not want to fight through that. The Republican era units do look awesome. I mean, all Roman units are pretty good. Late, Republican, uh, Imperial. They all look amazing. But yet, as you can see here, look, it's encirclement, kind of, it's kind of it's like the encirclement in history. So they pushed through, I mean, they actually didn't do much pushing through. You can see where the start of the combat went on, and Rome's actually gradually been pushed back in this. But they've been desperately trying to get through the centers, Rome. And it's they've been their flanks again, just like in history, they've been the undoing. So, like, the Carthage, Carthage's uh, cavalry out here has done a good work, taking out a lot of key units. But I mean, Rome's done the same. He's taken out elephants. Uh, he's he's done a lot of damage, in fairness. And they got pikes left, which is the main concern. They got African pikes left. So you can see they're just dotting around their boxes, and they're kind of just going for like I don't know what they're kind of doing. Just like a weird assorted defense. But here we go, the final assault, finally coming.
There we go, the Histati and Sokia Extraordinary going in. We've got Calvary going in from Carthage, he's just going to send them straight into the lines, that's excellent. We're going to have another charge here. No, that's, uh, no, apparently not. Okay, but we've got a lot of stuff over here as well. Look, they just surrounded them, living Peltas. They were actually pretty good in combat. I'm just waiting for the elephants to go in, but yeah, look at that. Surrounding them now. I'm mean, really under threat. This is a concern. They've got a general here on the front line, basically holding them off on his own. What a brave, brave general. Holding them off, holding back the masses of men. The elephants are falling back. Doesn't want to send them in yet. And there you go, that legacy is surely broken. And now these Triarii squares are on the front line. And they're, they're, not, they're just going to get slowly pushed back by these pikes. A real concern with the amount of pikes that they have here. Got Gallic mercenaries in here. Like I say, they got, they have hired troops from every corner of the world to come against Rome. It is a coalition of Rome's enemies almost. Got the Gauls, you've got Carthaginians, the Spanish or Iberian troops, I should call them. Cretans. Excellent. Here we have more Peltas just prodding away. I don't think these guys will break through this line. They're going to have to rely on the pikes and elephants for that. But uh, they, they're doing pretty well here. Mercenary uh, noble fighters here surrounding the Triarii, which is what it's become now. It's just become Triarii boxes. There's a couple of units of Princapes and Sokia Extraordinary dotted around, but not many. I don't think, actually, I think it's just Sokia Extraordinary. Yeah, these poor guys. Overwhelmed now. Overwhelmed. And they're in among, they're just in amongst all these uh, squares now. That was a good charge, actually, into the rear of this Chariai square. That's broken this one up quite nicely. So this Triarii unit's probably in a bit of trouble here. Elephants are in. Elephants are in. Okay, so yeah, look at this. I mean, they're combat even currently. But how long that will last? Who knows? But the elephants are in here now. They are dropping quickly at these Triarii. Oh, gosh. The chaos. The chaos. They're pretty bloodied up now, are those elephants though, which is the main co uh, main problem for Carthage. Because, I mean, if these elephants do die, it's not over for them. But, I mean, it's certainly going to be a lot harder. Like I said, the pikes are still here, but you want these elephants to really smash through. So, they should be okay. I mean, I see only a couple of them pretty bloodied up. I mean, actually, when you zoom out, like, they're not very bloodied up. Then zoom in a bit and you just realise, oh god, these guys are pretty beaten up. But they've broken one Triarii unit, I think. Oh, this one's pretty beaten up. They are slowly just chipping away. I don't, they haven't got any generals of uh, Rome, which is also a major thing. So these units are losing, actually slowly anyway, while in their square formations. Another charge coming here on a really small unit. It's so small and so well condensed now. These just, like, the charges, like, don't do much because most of the cavalry miss when they make their charge. But they've actually got right into the center of the square. If that guy gets out, that's impressive. Wow, he actually did. And you just see, like, the blurred lines that there are now. I th there you go. You I think these Triarii, I mean, they've got their spears up. They don't look like they're going to hold much longer. I'm going to rejig their formation. 
if I was Carthage, I'd just send these pikes in. Like, what have you got to lose now? These, I mean, there's plenty of units already in there. It's not like he needs more, or they need more. Um, but, I mean, why not? Send them in. And there we go. A mass chain route now happening from Rome. There's just one unit holding. It's actually this one nearest the elephants, ironically. Um, but that didn't last long either. They are about to break as well. Uh, and there we go. They have shattered and routed. And it was a costly victory for Carthage. Uh, so history is going to repeat itself. Uh, I think it was more of a decisive victory in history. Uh, Rome lost a lot and Carthage not so much. But obviously this is total war. That is never going to happen. Um, but yes, yeah, so Carthage did win again. And I'd just like to thank all the players that took part. Uh, so that Aiden, Marshal of USSR, Gandalf, uh, Drunk Norwegian, Jordan Hench, and Dodgy Gob. Thank you for all taking part and uh, recreating this battle. I sorry, sorry I couldn't take part, but uh, I'm sure you all enjoyed and uh, it did look awesome. So anyway, we'll quickly go through some of the armies. So Aiden got 246 kills with his African War Elephants. He kind of brought like the um, the mixed army. He had all the pikes and the peltasts and the cavalry and the elephants. So he had like a bit of a, a blurred army. So he had a interesting sort of bit of micro I'm sure to do. He had some cavalry here that got 268 as well. So he did pretty well. Uh, Marshal of the USSR was bringing mostly the Carthaginian infantry. So he brought all the sacred band and the Libyan infantry and Carthaginian hot plates. Most of his units getting around like 100 kills. Lots of his Libyan infantry did well. His sacred band obviously doing well. Um, and then Gandalf who was bringing the mercenary army. So he was bringing like mercenary noble fighters, the Iberian swords uh, and the Italian swords and the Gallic uh, warriors etc. And he did pretty well as well actually. I mean his Gallic swords actually did pretty well getting 201 kills. That's actually pretty good. And his uh, mercenary noble fighters obviously doing very well. 199 kills. And his uh, Iberian Swords getting 197, that's also not too shabby. And his Slingers, wow, 339. Excellent, I mean, they did just destroy those Velites. And then Drunk Norwegian, who was playing as Rome, he was playing as the Histati line. So he did uh, a bit of damage, but he did lose quite a lot of men and not kill as many as probably would be hoped. Uh, he got 158, which is his best unit there. His Velites just got destroyed. And the rest of them did, like, average for Histati anyway. Jordan Hench, who was bringing the Triarii line, um, obviously he held very, very well. Uh, actually, had 10 units. I thought it was 8, but it's 10. But anyway, uh, the best one, I think it's 111, which is still on oh no, 138, which is still pretty... It's okay. Uh, they are spears. Um, but you'd hope, like, fighting, like, pretty beaten up Carthaginian armies at this point, that these guys would rack up kills. But Carthage just seemed to have quite a bit left at the end. And his cavalry, he also had some cavalry in his army. He kind of brought the uh, the cavalry contingent for Rome. 50-odd um, kills It's kind of like the best that they did, which is a bit of a shame. But Rome's cavalry isn't as good as uh, Carthage's. That's just a fact of history. And then Dodge Gob, who was playing as the Princopes. Um, Princopes probably actually did the best out of any of the Roman armies. 192, that's pretty good. And uh, Socii Extra Extraordinarii getting 191 down here. And... Um, yeah, that's kind of really it. He had a lot of swords, obviously. He brought, he had the main chunk of the uh, sword army, along with Drunk, uh, here. So, I mean, both of them seem to do pretty well. I mean, out of Dodge, he actually did the best um, in kills, obviously, with the most swords, getting 1,900. No surprise there. And uh, Gandalf, actually surprisingly doing the best on kills for Carthage, playing as the mercenaries, those squishy mercenaries. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed them, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want to see more historical battles, Please leave uh, a comment, maybe for a recommendation on a battle to do in the comments, and uh, I'll see what I can do. I have got a few others lined up, um, a few already created at this point of this video coming out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.